Hi, this is Caleb with App Design Tips, and I want to show you a new case study with one of our clients. And this is a home page redesign that I did to double conversions from the home page. So this is the new design that you see here, and I made this design responsive for the iPad, the iPhone, and the desktop. But I want to show you the old design here. This was the old design. And the biggest thing that I saw when I was talking through this home page design with my client was that they had the logo here is the main focus. They had the logo here already. And then they had the same type of words, stay legal, stay safe. And so looking at this prime real estate here, there was no verbiage or anything talking about their product yet. And there was no invitation of what they wanted the customer to do. And we can see down here, as we scroll down, it says the nation's leading concealed firearms training firm, but that's still not an invitation for a call to action. And there was nothing really inviting a new user what to do or what kind of products they were selling. Now we had the main or the primary call to action was this register now button here. And my theory was if I could clean this up, if I could make that call to action the main focus and just make the rest of the design really simple and just out of the way so they can see that invitation, but still make it easy for them to navigate through the other things that they might want to visit that site for, that was the goal. And my theory was that this would drive more clicks through to the classes page and also more sales conversions from the home page. So this is my new design here. And with this design, you can see that I started with the very first piece of text, begin with the nation's leading firearms training firm. And so that was more of an invitation of here's where we'd like you to get started with this. And then it has some subtitle text. We offer concealed carry permit classes to over 30 states nationwide. And then we have one red call to action button, and this is find a CCW class. And now if we scale this down for mobile devices, they can still see that red button is the first thing that lands on their screen. So I talked with my clients about this and what my hypothesis was, and they were a little bit hesitant to change the design and to spend that investment changing this, but I ultimately convinced them to do this and told them that I'd run an A-B test. And in this A-B test, I used Google Optimize, and Google Optimize is used for splitting up traffic to compare different designs or different elements on a page. And now I created this home page here, and then I created home hyphen B here. So this was home A, home B. This was the original and the new design. And I just used Google Optimize to just split the traffic. Any traffic that was coming to the home page, I just split that 50-50 so that half of them would go to the new version and half of them would go to the old version. And I use that to split, and Google Optimize gives you some data to help you understand whether you reached a goal and you optimize that goal, but it's really basic. And so instead of using Google Optimize to understand the data behind this, I just use it to split the traffic. And then I use a tool called Full Story. And Full Story is just powerful, it's awesome. It's a tool that you can use to record sessions and to segment your visitors into certain behaviors and learn more from them. So let me show you what I mean here. Now this is the interface of Full Story and this is a filter that I created for the original homepage visitors. And I basically filtered this and I said I want to look at the visitors that have visited MyLegalHeat.com and have landed on the original homepage here. So I had that as my first top of the funnel. And then next I said and they've clicked on and I chose the CSS selector to choose that they clicked on that register now button that you saw. And then I wanted to see the amount of people from there that actually visited the success page, meaning they made a purchase at the end of their visit. And I did this for the home A, and then I duplicated this, and I just changed this to say home B. And the same thing, I had, they clicked on the call to action button, and they visited the success page. And you can also see here that it records every session here. So I can push play on any one of these users and actually see the recording of exactly what they did on the screen, which makes it really nice. But from there, we had this old design right here. We had the new design here. And Full Story gives us this nice funnel here to show us here's the thousand people that visited the original page. Here's the thousand people that visited the new home page. And with this new design, 
we saw almost a three times optimization in the amount of people that clicked the class call to action button. So 37% clicked this button here as opposed to 13% that only clicked this register now button. And from there, we looked at these thousand people that visited this home page and we measured how many of them made a successful purchase here. So out of these thousand people, there were 2.6% of these people that made a purchase. And just the only thing that changed was this home page design. And out of this home page design, we can see that 5.3% of these thousand people, so 53 of these thousand people completed a purchase. With this kind of data and using full story, it was really awesome for me to be able to come back to my client and to say, look, this will effectively double the amount of people converting from the home page and even triple the amount of people visiting your classes page from here. And it's just a slam dunk case at that point to say, let's roll with it, let's execute it, and let's look at the next designs that we can do A-B testing on to do some on-page optimization throughout our site. So if you have a new design in mind and really want to measure the success of that design, I recommend using Google Optimize for A-B testing. And you can split your audience in two, showing the old and the new. And then you can use this full story to really group them into however you want to evaluate them and create your own funnels to see if they're reaching the goals that you wanted from that design. I hope you enjoyed this tip, and if you did, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos.